Welcome to presentation on IoT based air quality monitoring system. Let us start our discussion from abstract. Let us discuss what is an air pollution is. When an air get mixed with harmful gases and substances, it is called air pollution. The major pollutants of air are gases such as ammonia, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxides, methane, etc. These are the main pollutants which causes air pollution. Now, what are the sources of these pollutants? Obviously, the emissions from industries, the poisonous gas released by the industries and the gas or released by the vehicles or it is also known as emissions of vehicles the burning of fossil fuels also releases some gas it may be from an household or from any industry so these are the main sources of pollutants so what is the effect it has the pollutant air can cause severe health effects such as heart disease lungs cancer respiratory infections and many more. Therefore, air pollution is dangerous to mankind. It has to be dealt with a proper solution. Let us look at the introduction of this project. The proposal project is an IoT based application to deal with air pollution. How it works, what are all the models present will be explained in the next slide. The aim of this project is to provide an IoT based solution to air pollution. Here, with the help of sensors such as MQ7, various air parameters can be sensed. To transmit the sensed elements, we need one development board and we are going to use an ESP32 board. The proposed prototype, with the help of Wi Fi, it uploads all fetched information of air into a centralized server. This is the overall idea of proposal project. It's an IoT based application. It makes use of MQ7 sensor. The heart of the project is ESP32 development board. And with the help of Wi-Fi, the red parameters are uploaded to centralized server. Let us look at the existing system. In the present system, the parameters of air are collected using electromechanical devices and these devices are huge in volume, they are heavy and it is difficult to install in many more places. And periodical collection of data is also difficult. Still, this system needs manual intervention to collect the data and feed the data further to centralized server. These are the drawbacks we observe in the existing system. Let us pay attention to proposal system. The proposal system is IoT based product and all functional units present in the proposed system are connected in a network. Since all the things such as sensors, server, they work together over a network that they communicate easily with each other. The data which is collected from sensors get uploaded to cloud servers instantly with no time. This helps the authorities such as pollution board, pollution control board authorities to fetch the data easily and with the help of real time data they can take conclusions and they can take actions instantly. This is the advantage of proposal. Let us look at what are the hardware requirements of the proposed system. As usual, without processor, we can't perform any programming. We need a minimum i3 processor. If we get higher version than i3, okay, we have no issues. RAM 2 GB is minimum requirement. Hard disk 500 GB is essential. And we need MQ7 sensor to fetch various air parameters. ESP32 development board, it plays very important role in our project. This development board 
connected with sensors receives the parameters and further upload to server. Breadboard, it is a device with which circuits can be built with, without the need of soldering. That is the plus point of breadboard. Jumper wires, these are the small piece of wires which are used to connect various sensors with the electronic devices. Let us look at software requirements. Frontend, the graphical user interface is technically known as frontend. We, we have used Bootstrap framework to develop the frontend and the programming languages. The knowledge of C, C++ and Java is essential to develop this project. To, to deal with sensors, to communicate with machines, C, C++ helps and Java is required to develop an Android app. Of course, without operating system, we can't do anything. Having an operating system such as Windows 7 or any higher version is essential. To type the programs, we, we are using Notepad++. Fine. Uh, IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. We are using two IDEs, Arduino IDE to program the hardware, we are using Arduino. Android is one more IDE, Android Studio, with which we can develop an Android app. Let us pay attention to system design. This diagram shows the architecture diagram of the proposal project. It shows various functional units present in the project. Let me explain one by one. Uh, first, I will go with server module. The server which receives the data from the sensors and it processes the data and displays the data for higher authorities. Let us look at the transmission module. The first thing is fetching the data from the sensor. We are using MQ7 for this purpose. The data get processed by the ESP32 development board and it is sent to server with the help of Wi-Fi network. And Apache web server is used which is programmed with PHP scripts and read information is stored by means of records in a table and we are using a database called MySQL for this purpose. This slide shows the data flow diagram. Here, the various processes and external entities are displayed. The first thing is, with the help of a gas sensor, such as MQ7, we need to fetch the air parameter. The fetched information is processed using libraries. MQ7 device has a library with which we can read and process the data in a convenient way. Having processed the data, it has to be transmitted with the help of a Wi-Fi. And Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi network, with the help of Wi-Fi network, our ESP32 device sends a request to HTTP request to PHP script. This script receives information by means of parameters and uploads the received information to a database which has a predefined table and this process continues. Sequence diagram. The same thing is explained here also with time intervals. The first thing is collecting the information such as carbon monoxide, hydrogen, etc. from air with the help of an MQ7 sensor. The red information is uploaded to server with the help of Wi-Fi network. This is done by our ESP32 device. The third thing is, when ESP32 sends an HTTP request to server, it gets processed by the Apache web server. And the web server, by means of PHP scripts, receives the parameters and it inserts all the information into a table. And lastly, these, inf these stored informations are visible to higher authorities such as pollution control board or environmental related persons can access and they can view the data being read. So this diagram shows how the devices are connected. Here we get to see ESP32 kit, MQ7 and a power bank. The ESP32 development board 
can be powered with 3.3 or 5 volt supply and we have used a power bank to power the module. The ESP32 is connected with MQ7 sensor. The pin configurations are explained in the diagram. The 3.3 volt pin is connected to VCC of the MQ7 and GPIO pin 33 is connected with the analog output and ground is connected with the ground. This is a very simple schematic diagram of the proposed project. This slide shows how the actual system looks like. This shows the real ESP32 which is powered with the power, uh, power bank and ESP32 connected with the sensor MQ7 and for the connection purpose we have used a mini breadboard. And this is the login page which is meant for higher authorities. With a simple username and password, they can log into their account. If authentication happens to be true or if it is successful, they are allowed to view the dashboard. So this is the dashboard which shows the various air parameters being collected from these sensors from a remote place. So let us look at the conclusion. Yes. The monitoring of environmental parameters is very important to deal with air pollution. The best example is what the consequences we have been facing at the Delhi. It's very severe there. So monitoring the environmental parameters with respect to air is very important to deal with various health related issues. And the proposed application which works on the principle of IoT, which reads the data from the sensor and the red data is processed by the ESP32 device and it is uploaded to database. These data are analyzed and displayed to consent authorities, which is helpful for them to take the decision so that it helps to deal with air pollution by monitoring the air parameters periodically. So how the project could be improved further? Since we have used sensors to sense the gas parameters, not only gas, many dust particles are also the reason uh, for the air pollution. In the proposed project, we have not used any such sensors to measure the dust particles. In future, we can use such sensors so that we can deal with air pollution more accurately. Along with the sensors, we could have used GPS model so that the location where the pollution is more can also be traced by monitoring, by fetching the geolocation of the places. By including these two parameters, by considering these two things, we can improve our project. And thank you very much for watching.